Right, good morning everyone. Now, uh, what am I going to do? <laughs> I don't know, but did you enjoy the swans? They were great, weren't they? I've cut some really funny shaped squares and I'm going to just cut those into triangles. Sorry, my scissors are rubbish. Okay. I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to make, but I'm, I'm going to make a bunch of something. I'll leave you guessing. See if you know what it's going to be. So that's ready. Then we've got this one ready. Right, so what I'm going to do is to round this section off. Like that. Sorry my scissors aren't much cop at the moment. And then I'm going to do that. Don't forget, just do a smaller stitch. Like that. Turn that the right way. And then what we're going to do is to sew around the edging. Just give that a tacking stitch there because you don't want that to come undone or to be pulled too tight. And then we go around that edge. Okay, okay. Right. Now what we have to do is to fill that. Pop that in. Fill it out. Plump out your strawberry. I'm going to put a little bit more in just to plump it right out. Like that. Right, we need to put the cord in. stitch that you might get a bit of glue on your needle but you just scrape it off burn it off and then scrape it with a knife like that move this I've got a leaf there 
and some left on this that I can use. They're taking about five. So, get them as close to the stem as you can. But then, like I say, if you're going to put a bead on or something, that will hide the top section. I'll push that down. Oops. Like that. Then we take our needle and thread wherever I've put it. Here we are, somewhere. Yeah. Start underneath one of these, come through. Now we can burnish this. I'm just going down a little bit to make it look like a pip. And I'm using the multicoloured um, thread because I like the way pips to me don't always seem the same colour. And I'm just working around adding a pip where I think it should be. I get away from that, mate. Sure, we've got one right where we need it. And then we take that back up to the top. And then we can cut that. They could be a little bit plumper. I really should widen them out a bit. But hey ho, maybe it's a fabric. Because I did try and I can't get any more in that. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all three like that. And then I think what I'm going to do is... Let me just cut that. I'm going to burnish that together. Like that. See, I've got a little group of them now. Uh, but obviously I'm going to need some leaves or something on that. And the leaves I've got, let me just see. Now, what I'm going to do with it is to melt it all in together. Because when you burn ribbon, it melts. 
and that will help that. I'm going to pop that through there. Am I? No, no I'm not. I don't think we need to. I think we just need to do that. I've got some leaves here. And what I'm going to do is to pop one from there. And then to that, I think what I'm going to do is to pop on a flower. Uh, we're having to um, put the bench seats down, you, you know, pin them down. Somebody's just recently this week decided to go around pinching people's get, uh, garden furniture. And it's not on, you know, because it costs money. I'm just going to put a little flower in there. Uh, ribbon flower, sorry. Yeah, it costs money and people are spending a lot of time and effort doing the gardens. Some of them have been caught and uh, sent back, obviously. Now, I'm not sure if I want to cut all of that. Let me just see. I may want to cut some of that. Just like that. Right, so, but this can hang off a project now. Um, uh, strawberries. Shabby chic. Strawberries. Can't that hang, uh, hang from a project? And why not? I mean, you can do it however you want. Uh, and I'm sorry I've got poor-looking strawberries. <laughs> but... Mike, I cut my material wrong. But you know, hey, I aren't bothered. It hasn't phased me in the slightest. So there. Shabby chic strawberries. I hope that's helpful. Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm going to show you how to make this little rosebud. They're very easy uh, and take very little time. You need three pieces of ribbon and I've done these at eight centimetres. Well, well, yeah, eight and a half, but eight centimetres will do. Fold them in half and put a crease. You would be better off doing single-sided uh, satin. Again, just fold half, in half, sorry, and uh, do that. Now, you're going to take, actually that should have been that way. Take hold of your uh, tweezers, start in the corner, and as you roll in it, pull it towards you. Like that, towards the mark you've made halfway. Take your needle and thread. Don't go below it because you're going to be cutting this off. But just go towards... Um, you're going to sew from right to left. Or if you're left-handed, left to right. 
whichever side you start first. Take that, pull it as you're doing it. See how it's curling it? Now I'm going to sew across. You just need a couple of stitches. Oh, mine doesn't want to work this morning. Thank you. Just sew it to the end. And you gather it slightly, not much, just a little bit. Make sure you don't go below that line when you're sewing this, because you're going to be cutting this. You don't want it to unravel. So that's that, and then you just chop that bit off, and you chop that bit off. So you've got one there. Now, I'm going to have to thread my needle. I didn't want to waste that bit of cotton. Right, we'll start that again. So just stitch the centre. Take your tweezers. Oops, sorry, that way. Roll it. Pull as you're rolling it to the centre then what you're going to do stitch along I mean you can stitch along to that section first if you want to you might find that a little bit easier for some people pull it in slightly go might just have enough to do the last one I think I'll try it. I will pull it uh, sorry stitch along the bottom section and then little strands and I'm gonna go halfway over it might make it easier Sorry, I've got something stuck on the end of it. Roll it over. See how I'm doing that? Rolling, pulling. Like that. Pull it in a little. And then stitch that off. So I can't go past where I've just stitch that when I'm cutting it and then stitch that, uh, cut that and there's my leaf, uh, petal then what you have to do I'm going to add it to this so you want the rolled on the reverse side and then I'm just going to I've already covered my wire like that and then I'm going to add the next one I'm going to put the smaller one on cross that over bring that in so you've already got a little rosebud and then we're going to go over that one again so glue that I'm going to pop that on there like that I'm 
and then what you do is you take your flame and just to melt that so you get a little bit of a shape at the bottom so it's not straight it's pulled in and that helps when we're adding the leaf and that so right now just going to cut a leaf half a uh, half an inch wide fold that together now don't put the um, tweezers to the very end don't do that we need to leave a gap for it to go through and we then move it to there so we need that gap now you burnish that together seal it off And then what we do is we turn that inside out like that we're going to heat this to bend the leaf out when i can find the hole i've just made right a minute there we go pop the stem in there like that pop a little bit of glue around the bottom edge of it and carefully pull it in pretty quick like that now I'm going to do two leave, uh, leaves on that I actually oops I actually prefer them to have two leaves sorry but it's all that strands off the glue that's it and I'm going to put the leaf just not to side like that to that there just to the side of it like that that's it and then to seal that off i'm just going to use a bit of garden tape so it all blends in together like that and there you go sorry I'm just doing that and there you go you've got two oh, you've got your little buds and they're cute but they can be used now in any project now I'm just gonna cut mine because I like them to be the same so I'm gonna use them in a project Right, I'm back. Now I'm just going to share a little trick with you. I've got a frame. Sorry. It's a picture frame. And um, I'm going to make some stamen. Now in order for me to make some stamen, I need to cut this. Now it's got a front and back to it. It's glued together. Once you've done that, you need to get some thread now I'm using um, like the crochet thread and what I'm gonna do is to pop a little bit of glue just there and then what you do is you wind the thread on here And you don't want to do too wide, you know, too far apart. So hang on. And it's a really, I mean, if you want a particular colour of stamen, then you might as well make your own. Because then they're, they're quite expensive. I sell stamen. Um, and for what I pay for them, and then what I've got to pay for the shipping of them here and whatnot, um, they can work out pretty steep in price but i always give more than what you would buy in the shop so you get a really good bunch from us um because i don't like 
I look at the bunge and I think, I can't give that to a customer. I wouldn't buy it. And if I won't buy it, then nobody buys it. I won't give it to you. Sorry, what we're going to do is set to try and keep it as... I don't want it to cave. See? Which will help. So once you've done that, just even them out a little bit if you can, or space them out like that. I think that's near enough. And then what you need is some glue. Now you can use normal PVA glue, of course you can. Anything that will go hard. I've got some book binding glue and it's pin flare book binding glue. I love it. It is another form of PVA, don't get me wrong, it is. Now I'm just going to put this where I think you can see. Okay, and then what you do is pop some onto your brush and you just pop it onto the strings. And what you're doing is you're strengthening the string because with stamen you do have to have them pretty strong. I was really miffed because I haven't used my pin fair glue for a while and what I did is I had three tubs of it, two were partly open, uh, two were open and I've just been to have a look and they'd both dried up. Now it's, it is expensive but it's uh, one of the best ones I find to use for paper and that. You know if you're uh, binding a book of some sort this doesn't crease. Um, like the normal PVA glue, but hey ho. Right, so I've done that side, now reverse that over. And we've just got to do this again for the bottom section. Might be able to put the heat gun on it to speed the process up, I'm not sure. I will try, it may work, it may not. I think that's done the trick. Yeah, that's dried that up. Now what I have to do is to cut them. Now I would leave them a little bit longer. I mean they are dry, but I would generally leave them a little bit longer. Right, so I've taken a few that I want now, <coughs> excuse me, to, for the colour I want. Now what you've got to do is, um, I need this board that I started with and I'm just going to cut um, I'm not going to cut it all the way through but I need to make like a little that's it, just that that's all I need so leave that there and then what I do is, when I'm, I need to do it that way, sorry. Then when I'm doing my colours, so right now I'm going to do some red. I can take my stamen thing that I've just done and we dip it. See, like that. And we dip that side. And then we lay them across the track. That's what I call it, a track. Now I'm going to do the, dip them again and I'll keep dipping them until I've actually got the right amount on the end that I need. And then you just leave them to dry. But what you can use is paste. Um, you know, um, thickening paste for your gravy. I forgot what it's called at the moment. God, sorry. It's, uh, you can use that and PVA glue. And that way you've always got your colour that you want. You know, and you don't have to wait for other people to send you them. Make your own. I 
I know I sell them and I should be encouraging you to buy them but I like people to make their own as well and if you don't feel you can do it you can always buy them like from people like me <laughs> Look at them. So much easier to do your own. Thanks for watching. Take care. Speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.